Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back to Civilization VI. We're continuing our Let's Play as the British here. And we can purchase something with faith, not a whole lot, like an apostle, maybe a missionary. Uh, we do have some stuff we need to build. Actually, no, we don't. Yeah, we got nothing we need to do here. We're good. Cool, next turn. Let's get going on here. I did take a quick look at our rankings. I'll share those with you right now. We're actually in second place now. We are one tech away from being tied with Catherine de Mechi, of all people, as the tech leader. Well, to be fair, we kind of smacked Tamiris around and put her in her place, so... She has a tendency, like a lot of warmongers, to go very, very heavy for army in the beginning, and then flip over and go very, very heavy for something else. Be it culture, tech, whatever. Domination victory, we're leading. A religious victory, we didn't found one, so we're dead last. Still in fifth place, though, for a culture victory. Anyway, let's take a look at our ship here. Oh yes, we do have loads and loads of battleships. In fact, battleship fleets. I kind of feel like we should use those on the Greeks. I kind of feel like we should cause some trouble, although we did just peace out with the uh, French here, so not much we can do there. Hmm. We could do a number of things, guys. I'm not sure what I want to do for the victory path, quite honestly. I'm sure that you guys would probably appreciate uh, kind of a naval-heavy domination victory the most. And that might end up being the route that we take, just because we're in such a commanding position. We can do whatever we want. And no, we don't want to talk to you, Catherine. Egypt's adopting the Raj policy. Interesting. I'm just gonna see if I can find Tamiris here for a sec. Yeah. So she still has her original capital. We would have to land troops pretty much everywhere to uh, nab people's capitals. I'm the only one who actually has a coastal capital, I do believe. Let's just confirm that. Carico, yep. Choose production. So this is Bristol. We do not need to choose production in Bristol. We need to choose production in Marseille. Okay. Well, what does Marseille need? It's production, so it'll go a little faster. Do we have any workers nearby there? Because that would be very helpful. Let's, let's purchase a builder so we can at least work this. And this guy, we're just going to sneak around for now. So Cleopatra's actually denounced us. So if we did want to go for that domination victory, this would be as good a time as any. I'm thinking about that. Because, you know, we've come this far. We could just go the rest of the way and just go all in. Embrace the warmongering. We do need to get that tribal village, though. It would also be nice to uh, kind of clean up this area, get rid of Warsaw eventually. Oh right, we liberated Carico To help with our warmonger penalties. Hmm. Do we want to just spit in the face of our reduced warmonger 
penalties. Or do we want to... I don't know. <laughs> I am not sure, actually, guys. And if we were to go to war... This right here... Okay, so it's telling me that urbanization is one turn away from uh, its max boost, which we're not going to get the boost. It's just not going to happen at all. Oh, also, uh, in case you guys haven't watched the previous videos, it doesn't matter what uh, sort of artifacts, which culture, which era the artifacts come from. You just need to fill up a British museum with six of them and you automatically get a theming bonus. And they get a... Once again, they get six, not three. Providing you build it in British cities. That might be a bug that I encountered last time when I was doing a test game. I took a city from uh, another civilization that settled on my continent, and I built a museum in it, and I only got three slots. Now, it's still themed automatically. It still didn't care. But... Yeah, that could be a bug. Hmm. Cleopatra does have... She does have some good stuff here, actually. Maybe it would be worth it. Maybe. Anyway, let's... Let's just keep moving for now. Keep doing what we're doing the red coat there just in case we do want to take that it'd be irritating too since we just we just did that to actually reduce our warmonger penalty here next to the site there and then there and there until until he runs out basically and you what can we do with you mm, we need to get you to Zanzibar Cleopatra has a couple more envoys. How are we doing for that? We're gonna be able to tie it up with them fairly soon, which I think we should use both envoys to get Zanzibar back on our side. Two hundred and fifty gold per turn. That's pretty nice. Oh, we're also going to have the Venetian Arsenal very soon. Seven turns till that's done. Hmm. Oh, we have a Ranger. Interesting. Okay, so that is still your typical cargo ship. I thought it looked a little different for some reason. And it looks like Paris just, or France just, found a new city up there. Oh, we actually took a good chunk of damage from the Quadrim. That's entertaining, I guess. It's weird. Oh well, let's see here. Napolis. Um, yeah. I, 
guess a shipyard to help with the yeah that'll give plus six production the gold input from the shipyard or the gold input from the harbor slash royal navy dockyard goes excuse me it goes directly towards production when uh you get a shipyard that's not a very good way of explaining it let me try again let me think about this here so when you build a royal navy dockyard you get your adjacency bonus in terms of gold and when you build a shipyard it will copy that same adjacency bonus and give you that much more production so if you have plus six gold thanks to the the adjacency bonuses of your uh, shipyard or your harbor or your dockyard then if you build a shipyard there then you'll get plus six production as well that seemed very convoluted <sighs> anyway it's all in the civilopedia anyway nates you know what let's build one of those dockyards probably begin gonna be doing that for the rest of the game the way things are going Oh, they have the Colossus. That's another thing that is tempting. Hmm. You know what, you sir, just... Park your butt there for now, skip a turn. You can pull back, you can pull back as well. You go on an adventure. You go ahead and clear that out. Oh, well this is very interesting. Our fleet is actually penned in here. But we do have our Caravel here, so I'm going to send him over to heal up. I'll get him upgraded to an Ironclad as well. Now, by capturing the city and... Yeah, by capturing the city, we'd be able to deal with the problem of us being pinned in. could also capture this one as well, then we'd get both of these encampments. Along with other wonderful things. How is Sparta in terms of their military strength? Pretty pathetic. Not as pathetic as France, but France just got out of a war with me. Okay, so you guys, you know what? You just park here for now, please. Thank you. And you, I think I'm actually going to send you over here, see how long it takes. 18 turns. E. Yeah, we probably need another canal city over there. those guys sleeping there for now hmm. France got logistics Oh, these guys actually took some serious damage. That's surprising, considering that they're Tennis muskets. do not usually stutter. It would be very awkward if they did, seeing that they have times to get out such words as methyl ethyl amyl or phenelium. Oh my. All right, we can build research labs. Excellent. I think it may be time for flight. Take a look here, actually. Do we have radio yet? I 
I think radio is required for flight. No, it comes after flight. Of course it does. Sure. Let's grab flight, then we can get radio. That'll help with culture victory paths as well. Uh, hmm. Let's go with flight for now. I'm very tempted by this. This is a very good... Uh, this is a very good tech, this is a very good tech, but I like flight as well. Bonus to all improvements that, bonus tourism to all improvements that provide culture. Okay, interesting. Birmingham. Well, let's keep on working on your production for now. Let's see about getting. Let's actually get out of this screen here. Go to the Great Work screen by hitting. I thought by hitting W. Fine. So Birmingham does have an archaeologist. So it's Portsmouth we're working on right now. Not Liverpool, Portsmouth, and it's five turns away. And in one turn, London will have an archaeological museum and will be capable of building them. city. What are you? So your modern and atomic area units, yeah, I could, we should get you back to the fleet. Do we have any relics that we can pick up here? Well, we have a few. Maybe try for this one. Get you over here. Grab that one. Go ahead and grab another one from Victoria. Is that also for Birmingham? I'm gonna have this guy take his promotion so he doesn't die this turn. So that would be really, really awkward. Alright, next turn. So they're attacking me again and not doing much this time. Catherine de Medici finished building the Forbidden City, which is now ours. Don't... I don't care at the moment. Don't take this the wrong way, but I don't care that this city needs more housing. And Jerusalem, I think the shipyard will actually provide you with some housing. Maybe not. The tooltips are all in the wrong spot. Who's the last one? Annapolis? Go ahead and get a worker there. We'll start building some farms, maybe. That'll help with some housing. And London. It's going to take 13 turns to get an archaeologist. We have enough gold, so I'm just going to buy one. 
and they will go scour the world for artifacts and shove them in our cities. Sounds good. Uh, 13 turns also to build pretty much everything else here. Whopping 16 turns for a research lab. We'll get a factory first. And Manchester. Guys. Actually, I guess that's nothing. Thought I heard a car alarm for a sec. Anyway, 31 turns for Big Ben if we tried it. I think it would be faster in the other city. Uh, let's, let's get a stock exchange running there. And Bradford. Poor, poor Bradford. Uh, this would be an incredible spot for an industrial zone, and I think Bradford needs something like that in the worst kind of, in the worst kind of way. Should also get some workers down there to help improve those uh, stone sites so they can be quarries. Also. Well, this guy does not have enough money this turn. Alright. So we have that heal for now. Send you up here. Grab this. It's the Birmingham Museum, so more stuff again for the Birmingham Museum. So he's gone ahead and cleared that encampment and the most useless, yeah, the most useful quadrims rather in the world will just continue to sit in that lake. Let's see where we are now. So Catherine has 45, we have 44. I mean, if we wanted to, we could surpass her just by grabbing, being cheap and grabbing military tactics. Sunderland. What should we build here? I suppose when in doubt, build a navy dockyard. If I can just find it in the list again, there we go. There isn't any particularly special place to build it, so we'll just plop it, say, right here. Go ahead, get the plantation up, so we'll get some tea. Is it tea or is it tobacco? Oh, that's tobacco. Well, it'll make people happy. And London's archaeologist. Oh my goodness, most of the stuff has already been claimed. Got almost enough on in this area to fill a museum, but Portsmouth is going to have one coming pretty soon as well. Uh, we're really getting into the point here where we need to. I'm going to send him up to that random tile. We're really getting into the point here where we need uh, cultural history and we get shipwrecks. There's going to be a lot of shipwrecks on this map.
so this guy can just keep on moving. Move you down here, build a firm. Um, I guess move you down here now. You get in the ocean. That's that for you. So I guess for this particular episode, we're definitely going to just keep building our city, our civilization up. We could basically win the game doing whatever, not going to war with anybody for the rest of the game. But that would probably be incredibly boring, so we will likely go to war with somebody at some point. Possibly just finish it off with our overwhelming military and just claim that domination victory. Not sure where we would start, though. Possibly when Catherine de' Mechi starts denouncing us, we'll go ahead and we'll grab Paris. Your Excellency, I feel neighborhoods with neighborhoods. higher appeal will house more citizens, whereas neighborhoods built by marsh, airports, or rainforests are not going to be very populated at all. Hmm. It's the Industrial Revolution and the growth of urban concentrations that led to a sense of anonymity. Funny, people don't want to live next to airports. Uh, mobilization's very good. Conservation's also actually surprisingly good. Mostly because it leads directly into cultural heritage. Which is boosted by having a themed museum. What is uh, conservation boosted by? Having a neighborhood. <laughs> it figures. Um, yeah. We also want new governments, although I suppose we're not in a big, huge rush for that. Let's start with mobilization. We'll then move on to conservation. We'll finish with that other one there. Yeah with mass media. So this one, Grace, Grace Hooper. Let's take a look at the biography on her. She's Atomic Age, an Information Age boats, plus five combat strength, plus one movement to uh, those guys, triggers a Eureka for a random tech in uh, the last two arrows. Who are you? Born in 1906. Master Murray never commanded a ship. Just give me a sec here. Okay, so she was in the Navy. She retired as a Rear Admiral Lower Half. As a Commodore. So-called Commodore. Graduating from Vassar College, where she studied mathematics and physics. She was accepted into Yale. Okay, very good. Got a master's degree in the 30s. Married Vincent Hooper. Completed her PhD in mathematics at Yale. When World War II broke out, she didn't rush to join the festivities. Uh-huh. But she did enlist in the U.S. Naval Reserve in December 1943, choosing the Navy simply because her father served in it. Honestly, I'd choose the Navy because, uh, in any particular war, because you're less likely to get shot at. I kind of would prefer drowning over getting shot at, but that's just a personal preference. Grace was assigned to the Bureau of Ordnance computation and project at Harvard automatic sequence control calculator mark one computer ah she worked on some of the first computers cool I think I know who that is now that I've read that anyway let's go ahead and recruit her why not All right, a library in Stroke Upon Trent. We could purchase it, but we don't really have to. 
And we can finally send our envoys out. It was Zanzibar we want to poach from Cleopatra, right? Yes. And that is now ours. Perfect. So before Cleopatra gets any ideas, we're nicking this artifact. Just put that Great Admiral to sleep for now. Crystal's trade route's done. Let's find a good production trade route. We'll use the mod to sort for us. Or Birmingham, rather. We went to Bristol last time. That's... Well, London's actually a bit better. Same production, but more food. So I think we'll leave that there. We'll let this guy sleep as well. So this is Grace Hooper's. Cool, so she gets like a destroyer at this point in history. Very good. Hmm. I think I may actually chop this forest to help with this. It's going to have a detrimental effect in the long run mm, yeah sure why not then we can get a three block of farms here a triangular farm set up and it knocked 10 turns off of the ship here i think it was 10 anyway, we'll you guys put you over here and this is the tea We'll get that improved next. You guys just stay there. I think you guys can get out for now. Alright, next turn. And our ranger. Guess we'll send him in that direction. It's a fairly reasonable deal to Myers, I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting like immediate uh, denunciations and warmongering threats and saber rattling and crankiness. Yeah. And I think this is our engineer, right? Gustave Eiffel? Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll take you, all right. A great engineer has come to our... Speaking of the Eiffel Tower... Oh, we can build it. It would have to be on flat terrain, however. This is a breathtaking spot right here, so we probably want to build... Probably don't want to build the Eiffel Tower right there. Hmm. What we can do when we get resorts with radio is we'll be able to build a very nice resort right here. Although this is going to put a bit of a damper on things. Hmm. Where would we put the Eiffel Tower if we do get it? Who says we even want the Eiffel Tower? We might still want Big Ben. So Big Ben has 34 turns in this place as well. Yeah, I think that might be worth it. So what we're going to do, since Gustav here, he can spend his production on we're going to send him to Portsmouth. And then we'll go ahead and we'll get started on construction for Big Ben. Down in Portsmouth. Because there's no space in London. And now we can upgrade the ship. Get it upgraded to a nice little ironclad. And 
three super, you can just chill there. Alright, next turn. And our archaeologist is in the Zanzibar dig site. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab a Zanzibar artifact. So he's got two more to do, and then that's it. Right, next turn. And also, I do think this is going to be my... Yeah, this one right here is going to be the last turn for this episode. Once I go through this. Oh, another spy got jailed. Two, three, four, five. Wow. Without even trying, we get five artifacts right here. This is a really good spot of land. If you can the Commonwealth of Venice in their armory have this inscription. Happy is that city, which in time of peace thinks of war. Ladies and gentlemen, the Venetian Arsenal. If you can walk away from a landing, it's a good landing. If you use the airplane the next day, it's an outstanding landing. <laughs> All right. Liverpool, what do we want to do with you? Honestly, I kind of want to build some battleships. Although it looks like you're building shipyards. Then sewers, then battleships. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get us some radio so we can get the seaside resort. Gonna have to wait on that. Also get ourselves broadcast towers in the process. That'll be nice. So Liverpool seems to be glitching out here. There we go. And Stoke upon Trent, let's just go ahead and bait by the university. Done. And that research lab's gonna take forever. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the factory then. Not sure what to do with this guy. He just needs two more artifacts. Oh! Uh, this isn't too bad actually. Six turns to get him down to Sunderland. But he'll take those two artifacts and that's exactly how many he has left. That seems like a good plan. Let's artifact. Hong Kong's artifact. This is for Manchester Museum. So it's number four for Manchester. We need two more there. We get one more over here. Oh, and apparently there's one over here we missed. Perfect. Now then! Go ahead and send Mr. Eiffel down here. I said Mr. Eiffel, not... thought that was Mr. Eiffel. This is Mr. Eiffel. Do your thing, Mr. Eiffel. That was not as impressive as I thought it was. But thank you for knocking 11 turns off of it. All right. It's not like we're going to have a lot of competition on this map for Big Ben anyway. It's very... Actually, it's not super specific, but it's kind of. has to be... You have to have an empty spot next to a commerce hub alongside a river. Thankfully, it doesn't have to be on a flat area, but... Yeah, who's going to have that? Maybe the Spartans? Well, actually... Yeah, it looks like the uh, 
Scythians right here have it right next to their capital, so that could be a problem. But it doesn't look like they have any interest in building it right now. As for the Greeks, I'm not sure they built any sort of uh, commerce hubs right there. Here's a question. Is Yeah, France is the only other one that built a commerce hub. So all these other ones are just not generating any points, which means they don't have any of the specific districts. So France, where's your commerce hub? It's down here. They could also be a potential threat. And in fact, this would be a really sweet spot for Big Ben if they were so inclined. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to throw down a cut here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. And, um, yeah, next time we're going to continue on. I think we'll be continuing with the peaceful route. Oh, this is interesting. Gustav has another charge. So next time we'll be using his second charge and we'll knock this sucker down to something like 12 turns, which is more than reasonable. Thank you for watching, guys. My name's been Wybot. I'll see you next time.